Hi folks, Thomas Sensen here with thomassensen.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's video comes in from a user, it's actually in the comment section too, so it was more of a, more of a comment, I guess, than really a question, but there was, you know, somebody was posing some questions around, okay, what should I do, should I learn this, should I learn, you know, this version, you know, what about, is, you know, is the data science market oversaturated so really that's what this video is today is I want to jump in and think about you know the question for, sh for sure like is the is the data science market oversaturated and really give my opinion I think you know I'm mean, big you know big data beard you know big data big questions all the things that I do pretty biased and I'm probably gonna say no so <laughs> let's get that out of the way but uh, I'll go into the three different reasons why I think that it's not oversaturated and I think there's a ton of opportunity and a ton of upside to come in the future so the first reason that I believe that the data science market is not oversaturated and that there's plenty of opportunity to, for growth is if we just think about how much AI buzz is out there. And so, you know, you can look at it and be like, okay, well, that just means that this is a big bubble, right? I don't believe that that's the case. And really, if you replace the words AI or artificial intelligence and you put it in there with automation, I think you'll see that that's kind of where everything's going. So look at all the different applications, look at all the different products that are incorporating automation or AI into their products, right? So even think about video surveillance. So I work with some people who do video surveillance and one of the things that they're starting to see is, hey, you know, the video surveillance manufacturers and camera systems that are being put in place, they can do all kinds of automation from the aspect of, hey, if you're looking for somebody, say, you know, you go to a game and, you know, 100,000 people, 200,000 people all converge on Super Bowl, probably be even bigger, but you see what I'm saying, like a big, some kind of big venue. So, you know, whether it's soccer match, whether it's, you know, um, NFL game, there's a lot of people there. So say that you're looking for a lost child, like I had two kids, right? Like, you know, if you get, you get separated for them. You can go back in and do real time playing and using what we're you know, using automation, because I'm trying not to say AI, but use automation to go back and find all the different pictures that have that kid with the certain hat on that's maybe, you know, how, how big are my kids? I don't know, three, two? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, maybe I should know that, uh, their height. But you see what I'm saying? Like you can get, kind of go back. That's all integrated into the camera, right? Like nobody from, you know, the NFL stadium or the soccer stadium, you know, or anybody like that, they had to, you know, build out those models themselves. Those are already put into the application which helps make those products better, helps me, you know, or parents find their lost kids or, you know, if somebody was doing something wrong, go back and find them. So it's all great. It's all being ingrained there. But to do that, you have to have data scientists, right? So just think of all the applications. We talked about uh, Salesforce.com and Einstein, what they're doing. A ton of different use cases where, you know, automation and AI are being incorporated into applications. Number two reasons. I cheated and I Googled. So I Googled for all the different job searches, uh, you know, on Indeed.com or Monster. Go to go to any of those and just pop in data science or data engineer and look at those. Just popping in data science um, today, I saw there were 30, 33,000 and some change uh, just alone in the U.S. for data science. So, you know, that's that's not a scientific uh, poll, but I mean, I'm just saying that's a lot of opportunities. And so there's still a huge need for those people. So I know a lot of people are gonna look at it and be like, well, you know, how do you start out and how do some of the things, that's what we've talked about on this channel is, you know, some learning resources and how to get how to get your foot in the door. But I just wanna say, you know, if, you have, if you're a quality candidate, if you've built your own brand, if you, you know, even gone down certifications or been involved in projects, there's plenty of opportunities out there for you too. Like I will say, just, just from building this channel here, you know, I've been reached out to by Netflix and Facebook and some of the some of the bigger companies that you would think about. So you know, there's definitely opportunities out there. Um, you know, recruiters are always out there trying to tackle and trying to find people too. So there's a there's a ton of empirical evidence maybe <laughs> that uh, that that the job market is still hot for data science and data engineers. Number three, the last point I would like to make is mergers, acquisitions, and VC funding. So um, look at what's going on from a mergers and acquisition. We've talked about it on this channel. What is one of the biggest mergers and acquisitions that kind of happened for our community? Hortonworks and Cloudera joining forces, right? Saying, hey, we're going to tackle the big data market. So a lot of opportunities still out there. Um, from a funding, we were just talking about the Databricks acquisition and how that's, you know, they've got a valuation of $2.7 billion. I think they got a, I think it was a Series E. I probably should have wrote it down, but I know it was $2.7 billion, but... 
uh, valuation and they got $250 million and I think it may be a Series E, so we're really far down the path. But if you just look at that from, from a funding perspective, the, the market, while it is extremely excited about, we'll say it, AI, right? Data scientists, data engineers are the ones that are powering that, right? We're, we're the ones that are incorporating and being able to do, you know, being able to put these new awesome automation AI uh, features into our uh, applications. So um, you just look at where the money's going for that. It, it, it's something that I don't see dying down anytime soon, barring a recession, which even in a recession, if you're a good employee and you've got a good brand, you should, you should be fine or you, should, you will find a new, um, a, a new position at some point too. Maybe we'll cover that in an upcoming episode. But those are the three reasons that I believe that the data science market is not oversaturated. Recap, apps everywhere that need automation driven by AI. Quick search of just what's out there, right? So just do a quick search into data engineers, data science, and you'll see there's a ton of opportunities there. And number three, mergers, acquisitions, and VC funding. So if you've liked this, make sure you click the like button here. Also, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me, do you think it's oversaturated? Tell me I'm wrong, right? Like this is what that community is all about. Like I love to share ideas and love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you have a question, let me read it on the show. Let me try to answer it the best I can. Put it in the comment section here below and I will do my best to answer it. Until next time, I'll see you again on Big Data, Big Questions.